Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Uh, in most of cases, we never trust the user's input. So most of the cases, you're gonna have the validation checking, right? And when you have the validation, probably you have to display the error message to, to the user and they can correct their input and submit their information to our server side successfully. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to display the error messages in the time leaf. The thing is, uh, time leaf provide a variety of choice how to display error messages like outside the form, inside the form, and different ways to uh, display the if you want to have a customized style for those when you failed uh, on validate. So I'm gonna go through the APIs and show you some of them. And for others, you can read the APIs by yourself and apply to your project. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first thing uh, we have to do is uh, we have to go to our domain. Suppose uh, for, for this one, we add a not now. And uh, for this, you can give a default message. I don't want to use external externalize this time. Okay, uh, message. And uh, here we will show you how to. What's the message here? ID cannot be now. Okay, and for the uh, string, we are using. You can you can still use it. Not now. Not now can be applied on any what any object reference type here i was using not blank which means doesn't support for the space i don't want to use another not here and another one i want to add is let's add a size okay and the minimum yes uh, minimum yes how about a two and the maximum Maximum is how about uh, is uh, eighteen? Okay. Oh, oh, it should be number two. The eighteen. Okay, and give a message. First, first name must be between two and eighteen. Okay, and uh, let's add another one for this address. Suppose we also need to validate some information submitted in the address. You have to add a valid so it can do the cascading checking, right? Validation. And uh, here for the street, let me do the uh, same thing, okay. For the street, let's use in five. Is using 20 5 and 20 and for the state how about we have a size and which is minimum is 2 maximum is 2 I want using the shortcut okay. like IA represent Iowa which is the place I'm here I live so state it only allows two uh, two character yes mm. and uh, you can do others by yourself this uh, this is a practical uh, project so we just add this to show you how to use the technology right and after add those annotations you can also customize the message for not a blank the other part is we have to display the error messages okay, for each of the fields. And uh, first, let's go back, go to the browser. You can go to the time leaf, the tutorial. Oh, this one is not the latest version. Okay, I think it should still work, not a big change on the error messages. And inside the description, I will put the latest version for the time leaf validation, the checking, okay. So I'm gonna using this one. 
I want to display for each of the air for each of the field the error message okay each field so how do you do that in the paragraph okay you can add another span you or other things you want and here we will have a th if and we are using let me see if I can remember okay field okay and the dot I think using this one field okay sorry I couldn't remember so dollar sign fields has errors okay dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign then using fields yeah it comes out see IntelliJ is very smart fields yes dot has arrows you can give a specific field and because of this one I want to display the arrow for the ID so put your ID here and uh, if it exists th arrows do I have arrows there are no arrows it should have a th arrows oh my god let me just type okay th arrows see this one th arrows and uh, let's using th arrows for this one and then using the selection variable still give an id because this one we want to display the arrows for the id right and afterwards for the others you can do the corresponding changes like first name do i have addition on the first name yes i have first name okay first name then you have you change this one to be first name and also this one to be first name i don't have on the last name so there's no need to put it on the last name and i have one for the street and I have another one for the state, okay? And the street, you have to using the address street here. And also address street for here. And for the state, we're using if check, we have an error message for the state and display for the state, okay? Let me, I can add a format. So that's a change we have here. The last change is make sure when Spring trying to do a data binding, you have to go through our bin validation checking, right? So we have to go back to our controller and here add what? Add valid. Okay. Import. That's it. Let's rerun. Okay, good. And let's go back to the local host at at Okay, local host at at And uh, what we can do is just click the add button. Doesn't it work? Validation field for EMP, which is the bad request 400. This is one uh, other expired. This is a bad error count. Uh, do you know why? Because we didn't handle it. So here you have to have a binding result. Result. Okay. Remember now you remember it, right? If result dot has errors, we have to what? We have to go back to this employee form page. We don't have any exception handling. That's why you see this bad request okay let's rerun and make sure your binary result will be immediately after this mode attribute otherwise it doesn't work okay good and let's go to slash okay and click add you will see id and the first this is uh, uh, because on the first name we have uh, two annotation one is a blank 
One is the first name. Uh, one is the size, right? So both of them showing here, okay. And for, also for the street, we have uh, two annotations. One is blank. One is the size, okay. And also for I suppose I say Iowa. You are sick. State must only be allowed two characters, okay. When I say I a, they're gonna pass, okay. Suppose I do the same thing for others. Hundred zip code five five two six, okay. Add. It's gonna be success successfully added, but something which is not a good is here. When I click the style, I want those things to be red. This one to be red. This one to be red, right? That that's one way you can add a class called a th error class. Okay, let me show you in the API. In the API, it has many ways to do. You can using the th error class. There's other way is here. You can have a th class to check if this field have errors. Then you display the error. I'm gonna just using this th error class because it's much easier, like less coding compared with uh, this one, so, okay? So go back and go to our employee form. And uh, uh, I just uh, hard-coded some style here, okay? Style, and I'll create one called uh, arrow. Um, and uh, here I will have a color is uh, red. Okay. I create a class called arrow and the color is red. So how to apply here, you're using th arrow class th arrow hmm that thing comes out some is weird okay th arrow class equals let me check one more time th arrow class yes th arrow class just give the class name arrow okay arrow and we will do the exactly same thing for others okay for the first name and for the street and for the state okay uh, let's run this field is an object you can represent each of the you can grab the information for each of the fields okay for current uh, submitted object goes here and uh, let's go to edit then click add and all the error messages is uh, red. Okay, there's another one. Sometimes we want to display the global error messages just uh, uh, on top of this ID field. And how to do that? You can using, it also has uh, two ways. You can using the asterisk, you can also using the all. When you use the asterisk, you can do a loop. Let me show you the API here. This one. You can have an asterisk and to loop each of the error one by one. See here, if it has uh, error messages, we do a loop. To loop for all the errors, you display one by one, okay? And uh, it also have error others like this one. You don't need to loop, it will automatically loop it by yourself, okay? And uh, uh, I used this one before, but I never used this one. So let's first do this one. What you're gonna do? I just uh, copy paste. Sorry, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is inside the form. And uh, you have a UL and you have a fields, have all the arrows, and you loop for each arrow. And another thing we can do is add another class. Okay. If you have arrows, we will show the color is red for all the arrows. One. Because this one is uh, very long on typing, I don't want to type. So just a copy from the, the APIs. Sorry. Okay. And here it goes. And then click. Okay, what did I say? Cannot apply TH class on the attribute requiring extents of the mem. Okay, I cannot use this one. So this one doesn't work when I using th arrow because it is required to be a field. Okay, so let's run. Uh, this one is uh, weird. Okay, if it doesn't work, we have another way. Okay. 
So done. And it goes back. And add. You will see all error messages, but the color is not red. And uh, when you have a color not red, you can add another one because this piece is only to display what? The error message. You can directly use in the class and give uh, error, which is this one here. Okay, and uh, let's run one more time. Good, and uh, let's go back and I go to the browser and I click again. You will see all the messages are red and this is also red. And if I add all the things correctly, it should submit correctly for us, right? Okay, click and everything is successful, okay? So this is how we um, display the error messages when using time leaf. And uh, this piece of information when you use asterisk is gonna grab all the errors and you can do a loop, okay? Loop on all the errors and display one by one. This is a TH each, right? To do the iteration. For each field, you can have a TH if check this ID, okay? This field has error or not. And if it has, it will go through the TH errors and this is still using the selection expression. And also you can have a TH error class, okay, applied on this field, okay. And the other things are the same. And this one is to handle the nested relationship, nested relationship. And remember, in your controller, add a valid and add a binding result. When you have errors, goes back to the same form. So, okay, that's it for the data binding and the error message uh, in time leaf. And the time leaf official document also provide other ways to display the error message and display the error message outside this form. If you are interested, you can go to the description and uh, take a look at, uh, I will provide a link there and uh, show you the API, okay? So if you have any other questions, leave a comment and uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you, bye-bye.